All right, everybody. Uh, how are you guys? I hope you guys are doing good. Uh, it's kind of nighttime for me. It's around 10, 10 p.m. Um, but I figured I'd make this video about why, the whole reason why I started my weight loss. Why I chose to take this journey. And I figured it'd be important, not only for people that I try to help in the future, and right now, but for myself because it's been a long journey and it's been a tough one and it will be for the next my life my whole life honestly um the reason why was because i'll just say i'll just say this when i was little i, I grew up from like age from when i was born to like age nine nine or ten i was actually a really skinny kid uh, i had really no meat on me i was all bone and and skin, not literally, but it's just how I was. But then around nine, 9 or 10 years old is when I started to bulk up. I started to get a little bit of muscle, and then I started to gain a lot of fat. Um, of course, like any other human being, I've had, I had a, a rough life. Um, some worse than others, some not nearly, nearly as bad as others. But uh, we, all, we all have our own history behind us, so. But, uh. I went to school big. Um, middle school was in high school were the toughest years for me being big. Um, I didn't have much friends, um, even though it seemed like it. A lot of people saw me hanging around a lot of people, but you know, outside of school, I was reclusive and I would I didn't do anything. I didn't. I just wasn't. Let's just say sociable with people even though sometimes I would go to a friend's house or I'd go to the movies with friends. But I was usually home by myself or hanging out with my parents or brothers because I just didn't like to be out. I didn't like who I was. Uh, I still don't even really like who I am, but I'm learning to do something about it because, well, that's the reason why I took, chose to take that journey. In high school, I didn't. I didn't have a girlfriend the whole high school, whole middle school. Last time I had a girlfriend was uh, a long time ago. I think sixth grade, sixth, seventh grade. Well, sixth, seventh grade is middle school, so around middle school, but high school I went without a girlfriend the whole time. Um, it's because I didn't feel like, not only did I not want to walk up to a female, even though I did a couple of times and get rejected all of them, um, I felt like I kind of like didn't deserve it, you know. Uh, I kind of felt like, yeah, I didn't deserve it, I guess you can say. I'm trying to find like a better way to say it, but that's just basically how I feel. Um, so, out of high school, and, uh, oh, dealing also, dealing with, uh, high, through high school and middle school, IBS, uh, being overweight just made it a hell of a lot worse to deal with IBS, and uh, I think a normal person would, would do. My IBS right now is okay. It hasn't been too much in the past couple of months, which I don't want to jinx and be fucking sick tomorrow, but I'm just saying it has been okay for this past couple of months. But anyway, back on track here. The reason why is because of IBS high school. Where the fuck was I? Okay, yeah, let me just start what I remember. Um, let's just say after high school, when I went out here, I finished high school in Virginia. Um, I landed a, a few jobs. My oh, I say I only had one job at high school. My first job was Target. Sorry, first job out of high school was Target. I had a couple jobs in high school, but my third job, but first out of high school was Target. And, and you know, if you were a long time viewer of mine, you remember me working, you know, being happy that I got a job at Target back in two thousand nine. Um, so I started working fifty plus hours a week. Starting my first semester of college and making videos, so I was a pretty busy kid, and uh, I still, you know, managed to to make videos, edit them, go to work, go to school, and sometimes be sick. All while, be, excuse me, no, excuse me, being overweight. Um, and then 2009 is when the IBS started to get really bad. And, uh, and then it progressed into 2010, and that's when I was in the hospital. I quit my job, and I figured 
that whole rest of 2010 all the way to early 2011 was just a one big time of a huge depression for me and it just it sunk out I, I sunk low I cried a lot and I was in a lot of pain and IBS really kicked my ass that whole time I was in and out of the hospital because of it in doctor's offices um, so February of 2011 was the big uh, month for me where I finally decided hell I don't want to be fat no more I don't I, I may have IBS for the rest of my life but I don't want to be dealing with it being an obese person uh, so that's when I decided to finally take charge of who I am and what I can do with myself and I started to for uh, do research first I do do research I wrote a long note on Facebook that I still have up there when I was 350 pounds and I of course tagged a bunch of my my friends so they can read it and they've been with me ever since but uh, I went to my one friend Don asked him for advice saw that he had a, a weight loss transformation as well and uh, he gave me everything I need to know when it came to nutrition and exercise and I put all that to the test and then in eight eight months around that time eight months I lost 40 pounds doing it and then I hit my first plateau I did my uh, more research and then asked my friend Don again he told me to get P90X that's what I did I bought P90X a year and a half later or a year later kind of I lost another 40 pounds bringing me down to 80 pounds down and of course I did one round of insanity lost just a couple pounds on that and now I'm here now with the P90X and Insanity Hybrid. Oh, it froze a little bit. Okay, now it's back. Um, so, that's where I am. I mean, I've lost a total of 85 pounds. I'm at 265 from 350. But the thing is, I guess you can say my confidence has gone up a little bit about myself, about what I can do as a person. My IBS, it even though it is the same as it is was when I was 350 pounds I do can say it is easier to to deal with than it was being 350 pounds uh, it's still hell but it's still easy to do it is easy to deal with which I'm happy for so I can see that when I lose this next 60 to 70 pounds I still have to lose it's gonna hopefully improve and I can deal with it but like I said the thing is I still I still don't like when I see in a mirror I still don't like you know who I am yet and I don't think I'll ever be happy in, until I get that perfect image that I have in my head of what I can be and I think that is what drives me and that's what keeps me going even at through all the bad days that I have of cheating on my diet or skipping a workout or just having a couple days off to even a week or even a month off of just depression and not doing anything about it and then getting right back on it when I'm done with that you know darkness that I'm in and that's why I stick to it I think I will stick to it until the day I die I mean I have this this image in my head that I see myself as and when I look in the mirror and I don't see it it just it drives me to push myself because I see all the I saw all these kids in high school who who had they say the greatest body and then they totally took disadvantage of it by treating people wrong with it destroying their bodies eating junk food but yet they could still have these nice bodies and do their goals in, in, in fitness and in, in sports and everything but yeah it's like they were like the meanest people I guess you can say so I know I'm working hard for what I want but I just I've been on it for three years and I, the main point I remember now that I made this video is because of uh, don't give up when it comes to weight loss or anything really in general. I think I already made a video about that, but I'm making it again to show you how important it is, how important weight loss is to me to get that final stage that I, I want. It's like upgrading or leveling up if you're into kind of gaming stuff or say Dragon Ball Z I'm a big fan of that it's kinda like going to K.O. Ken or Super Saiyan and Super Saiyan 2 you know what I'm saying it's, it's kinda like that you just don't wanna give up until you until you reach your final state of not where you know you can be and that's just how I feel of course I have my days where I sit in depression and I think I'm a failure and, and all that shit but 
you know, tomorrow is always a new day. And it's a new day to wake up with a smile on your face and tackle the challenges you have ahead of you for that day. Try not to think of the long-term goals, but to think of the goals that you have ahead of you that day so you have a better chance of completing those goals for that day. And that will make the long-term goals a lot easier for yourself. But I, just what I wanted to talk to you about today, why I started weight loss and why I still continue to stick with it even after three years where I haven't lost nearly a, a, as much as my peers, as much as hard as they work. I, have, I think it has a lot to do with uh, being having IBS and then as well not always being able to get the food I need. That can be you know also a part of it. But you know, someday I feel I see myself someday being incredibly happy with myself, even though I seem really depressed and sad sometimes. I really do see myself being happy and happy with who I am and what I look like and. And it will just change my attitude so much where everybody around me will be happy as well, just just off that energy I'm giving off. So I just hope that someday that that day will be close. Uh, not like tomorrow, but I'd say within a couple of years. Because uh, uh, I know hard work pays off. And even, man, this video is getting long, huh? Yeah, almost 12 minutes. Um. But I think you guys know what I'm saying. I guess I gotta wrap this up because it's gonna to get too long. I'm gonna keep on blabbering. But I know you guys get my main point about this whole thing. Don't give up on anything you do. Don't give up until the day you die. Honestly, don't give up even on living. Um, that's it. I will see you guys next time with a video. I don't know if it's gonna be a vlog or it's gonna be a uh, exercise video. So. That's it. Love, peace, chicken. See y'all later. Goodbye. No, peace. Bye. You only say bye if you know you're never going to see that person again.